Rear wings on a hatchback are questioned by many. My experiments with them in CFD initially pointed to them having some utility, but it's significant drag. In my frustration, I placed a flap on the rear window to prevent the air following the window. This mostly eliminated the component of drag and lift from the vehicle. That is, downforce was reduced due to the angle of the air impacting the wing caused by the drag inducing flow from the hatch. In the sense that there was never going to be an angle for the wing to work effectively and the induced drag is always present. The idea isn't new. I now rediscovered the concept that the World Rally cars were using since the 1980s. I just wonder how effective this concept is in a very specific circuit racing scenario, such that using it for a particular setup, a loose interpretation of the improved production rule set from Australia. The placement and the size of the wing is regulated to a single element wing in a 200 by 200 millimeter box from the body and not higher than the roof line. I used a 125 millimeter box here. The rules are pretty loose and don't actually mention the end plates explicitly. This is a thing. So from the image, in the actual published regulations, the fact it isn't permitted to run a spoiler with a wing, I'm calling this a flap and attaching the wing to the end plates. Normally the wing can be extended all the way out to the edge of the hatch. I'm just limiting it to the width behind the roof. The difference here to the last proof of concept simulation I ran is that there is a much reduced volume of air that I'm working with. And with not a large amount of confidence, an aggressive high lift profile would work very well. I ran a conservative NACA 6412 profile. It performed quite nicely with a lift to drag of 8 and a CLA of negative 0.116. One of the problems with wings here is that they don't interact well with the body. Without the body flap, all the downforce created by the wing is countered by the lift of the body. Even with this model of this car producing more lift than it should, it alone still has negative net lift. The total CLA is negative 0.1. So the floor is working in this configuration. It has the same lift as this model with a spoiler that has all the downforce created by the floor at increased drag. From my new favorite CFD image, the vector glyph and flow field around the upper part of the hatch looks like it could be made to work a bit more with a high lift profile. Therefore, for the next simulation, I utilized an S1223 that I've used on a hatch in a previous video with consistently not great results. This performs slightly better. The wing's CLA is now negative 0.158, but then the body doubled the downforce number to negative 0.2. The wing is now conclusively working with the body rather than against it. It is kind of obvious that the flow characteristics is fundamentally different now with the flap and it seems robust with different configurations. Flow goes up, flow goes down. Flow goes up, flow goes down. Using this configuration is a marginal interpretation of the rule set and would take a very convincing argument for this to be accepted. Something that is more tangible and using the image from the regulations, a factory spoiler, I mean a flap, could be run simultaneously with a wing. This further reduces the volume of air that can be used. So does this do something equivalent to a flap mounted further down the hatch? My initial concern from the first simulation was the mass flow wasn't high enough, but that wasn't the case. So using the same S1223 profile, a reconfigured flap at the top of the hatch, the flow field still looks fine. The wing in this scenario, the CLA is now negative 0.182, more than before. However, the interaction between the wing and the body isn't as complementary, reducing the drag by about 40% to a total CLA of negative 0.14. The induced drag has increased on the body as well, 
not surprising as the flap slopes backwards. I think this just adds a little bit more evidence that this concept isn't fragile. The flow characteristics fundamentally change with the addition of the hatch mounted flap, which is true even in the sense of this model without a wing. Even as these experiments are crude, with just a few guesses, each time the outcome is positive. It seems it would be really difficult to stuff this concept up, and it would not be a benefit to a hatchback's track performance.